Hello everybody, my name is Rachel and um, I am the owner of Get Healthy, Lose Weight and Gain Life. Okay, so today is my very first day on um, weight loss product that I am going to be trying and using the program and then doing these videos to you guys to show you how well it works. Okay, so today is my first day on the program as well as my first video. I've started this morning with breakfast and I intend to stick to this. It's a 30 day program. I am going to do the 30 days and depending on my results, which I'm, I'm fairly confident that they should be really good. Um, I did a lot of research into what I was going to do before I actually committed to something and I feel quite confident that this one is going to be really, really good. So, um, it is starting from today um, and going, you're going to see these videos, I'm going to probably at the start, because you can get a lot of changes at, at the beginning of any um, weight loss program or get healthy program or whatever it is that you would like to do with yourself um, and so <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can hear the kids that they're they're um, copying something on the TV that they're, they're calling back to the people on the TV so if you can hear the background noise I apologize but I do have children like a lot of you watching these videos probably also have children so um, and I must warn you that there's possibility that they will come in while I'm filming <laughs> but I have to that's the that's the way it is. I have kids. They're part of my life. If they come in when I'm filming, I continue to film. I'm not going to start again unless there's some sort of scene caused. <laughs> so I apologise in advance if you do see that. Right, I'll get straight into it. Okay, so this morning I have weighed myself. And I'm using the little chart that they've given me in my um, program to record it. And I am actually quite... Um, it's probably really good that I got on the scales because um, I'm not very I'm not happy at all with the number at all no um, it was 86 86 kilos now um, any of you who have looked at my who've, who've joined my page and had a look at my little um, intro of myself um, you would know that I in the past have weighed a lot more than 86 I've actually weighed um, 20 kilos more than that so I've lost a lot of weight over the years trying several different things I've done so many different programs which I'm sure anyone else who's watching this who has battled with their weight um, like I have it's been something that's been an issue with my life since I was around the age of I guess um, 14 or 15 um, over the years there's been that I can't remember the amount of things I've done there's been so many I've tried absolutely just about anything that's available besides surgery so um, this one is endorsed and supported by naturopath so I'm hoping that this one is actually going to do it for me um, and a lot of what happens when people lose want to lose weight is in the mind you need to get your head in the right place otherwise it's just not going to happen because you're just going to set yourself up to fail because you will have the mind if you don't have your mind on track to where you want to be you are going to um, find it too easily too easy to step back into the old habits like you know this morning um, I've I've been giving myself a week to get to this point today. Um, I was at a party yesterday for my mum and I allowed myself to eat the cake, to eat the lollies and the chocolates and the chips. It may be bad for me, I know it was bad for me and it's probably not a good example, but I had to do that for myself knowing that today was D-Day. I had to allow myself one last shove it all in your mouth and enjoy it and not just to get the enjoyment out of eating the the food but for me to remember why i'm starting this because i tell you at by the time the day was over 
and I got home, I was like, oh, I feel so sick. I feel drained. I feel tired. And it's all the junk I've put into my body throughout the day. Um, I, I'm massively addicted to Pepsi Max. It's the caffeine. And I know it's the caffeine because I don't drink coffee. I don't drink tea. Um, it's my main source of caffeine and I could easily on um, a, a big day I guess I, I would go through five or six cans of drink which is too much it's way too much and I, I have in the past talk, got myself down to allowing just one can a day but whilst I'm on this I'm going to go cold turkey with it I'm going to eliminate it from my diet because I need to focus on what I'm doing and I need to make sure that I don't slip and that is a, you know a big issue of mine and a lot of people have this idea and I, me included me included that a diet drink is better for you than a non-diet drink and it's really no different they're the same the only difference is the sugar count they you know it's it's not really any good for your body the best thing for your body is water <laughs> so which is what I'm drinking today I've actually had I'm quite proud of myself because it's only 11 30 in the morning and I've already had three glasses of water um, this size so that's my third glass it's half done so I'm doing pretty well um, so Back to what I was saying, when I got on my scales this morning, 86 kilos, and it's a, for me, I have actually um, gone from 106, which was around about, I mean, this has been a 10 year battle since I, since my, my oldest son is 13. I've started to try and lose weight after he was born, and I've gone like a yo-yo, up, down, up, down. You know, if I was to draw a graph, it would be hills all over the place. Um, I lost the biggest amount I've lost was recently, which would have been um, 18 months ago. I got down to the lowest was was 69 kilos, and I was just like, "Oh my goodness, I've broken that 70 kilo mark." But I'm back up to 86, so I have gained it again. Um, I go to the gym. I've been going to the gym since my son was a baby so I've been going there for 13 years and I mean I've had breaks in between where I've you know had I've got four children so um, there's been times when I haven't gone but I've always gone back so a lot of people will you sort of say to themselves but I exercise like me I exercise but it's not the issue the issue is the eating and what you're putting in your mouth so and that's what my problem is I go to the gym and on the way home um, the kids will say can we have some McDonald's for lunch yeah, yeah, yeah okay and so instead of you know saying no no we'll eat something else at home something better for us I just get it and it totally defeats me going to the gym um, but what it, what it has actually done in a, a lot of the, a lot of the time for me is I've, I've maintained um, and then I've had huge gains and then losses um, but I do have a lot of um, where I've stayed for a long time like when I say a long time I mean a year two years at the same weight um, but I'm not satisfied with that anymore I, I, my, I've sat around the 75 to 80 kilo mark for a long time I've gone up, I've come back down to it, and I've set it, and now I'm back up. So this time, I'm breaking that 70 kilo mark. I'm breaking the 65 kilo mark. I would like to be between 60 and 65 kilos. Um, that is my goal. I ultimately would like to get lower, but I'm not going to set myself something that um, I feel might be unachievable, because if I believe it's unachievable, then I won't do it. So I won't get there because, like I said before, it's all in the mind. So I am not going to set myself an unrealistic goal. I am setting myself something that I believe I can get to. So I'm, I'm starting, um, my first goal is going to be to lose um, 
Okay, let's do it in little amounts. I'm going to start with getting down to under 80 kilos. If I'm sitting on 86 at the moment, I my first goal is to hit to have a seven in front of my weight. So 79, even if it's 79.9, that is under the 80. So that'll be my first goal. And then I think that my um, next goal, I might do it, try and do it in five kilo lots. That's probably the most sensible way to do it. So if I then want to be under 75, under 70, and so forth. You understand what I'm meaning anyway. Okay, right, so I've also done my measurements. I was going to do them on camera, but I thought I won't because that's a bit boring. You just don't want to see me measuring myself. So I've pre-done it. I've wrote the measurements down, and um, this chart that, that I've got is measure on day one, measure day 11, measure day 30. So um, that's a big gap between day 11 and 30. So there's, I'll probably do one like day 20 as well, just to see how I'm going, um, and record it just on another piece of paper or something. So yeah, because don't forget, you might not lose weight on a scale but your clothes could be getting smaller and that could be because you've actually um, lost centimetres and not kilos. Well, that, that's quite common because if you um, go and do a bit of exercise and build a bit of muscle, well, your muscle and is replacing your kilo of fat. It's repla your muscle is replacing your fat. So you um, technically are getting slimmer but weighing the same. So that can that actually is a lot of people can be their downfall. They think they're not losing weight when they actually are, um, because they're relying on the scales and they're not measuring. So I've started today scales measurements, and we're going to go. And now I'm going to stand up and I'm going to show you what I actually look like. Because from here, I don't look like I have a weight problem. Um, and you, a lot of people out there might think that I don't, but you know what? I do. I know that I do, and I know that I've had this weight problem almost my entire life. I. Um, I've battled it forever. It's the biggest thing that has, you know, been an issue my entire adult life. It's affected me having children. I've had to have, um, you know, um, help to get pregnant. Um, so, you know, it, it took me a long time to have my first child. And it, I was told by the doctor that it was 100% related to my weight. So, I've... That was my number one reason all those years ago to start losing weight. Well, I can't just, now that I'm done with my family, I can't just go, okay, I'm done. doesn't matter. No, I'm no longer happy with that anymore. I want to get back. I, w I want to be um, able to, I want to be able to shop in a regular shop and buy a nice outfit that, I can just pick up off the shelf and know it's going to fit me I, without having to go and try it on and go, oh, it's too tight, you know. I want to be able to do all those things that a lot of people take for granted. Right, so I'm going to stand up and push myself back here. Uh, hopefully you can see me properly. Excuse the bed, I have nowhere else for my computer in this house, it's in my bedroom. We're in such a small house. Okay, so... This is me. This chair might be. I'm wearing a black shirt. Black chair, black shirt, not good. This has got to go. It really has to go. I'm not happy at all. I'm not happy with any of it. And I have got clothes that last year that I, when I lost, when I got down to my 69 point whatever it was kilos, um, I was on top of the moon. I went through my wardrobe and I got rid of all my clothes that were too big, which at the time was the best thing for me to do. Although <laughs> I've now gained the weight and a lot of my summer clothes that are in that cupboard, the beautiful dresses that I bought that I was, even though I was still quite, still needed to lose weight at that, um, you know, I can't wear them now. They don't fit. And if I squeezed myself into them, I would look ridiculous. So, and I'm really not one of these people that likes to show my body anyway. Um, 
I don't go around wearing skimpy clothes, regardless of my size. It's not something I've ever done in my life. Um, I, I just want to wear nice clothes and be comfortable and not be so hot and sweaty throughout summer, which I have, there has been, we've had some quite hot days. We've had some days that have been 40. We, we've had a couple of days that were over 40 degrees. Anyone who's got a bit of weight on will know how uncomfortable and disgusting it feels on a day that's 42 degrees. It's not, it's not pleasant. It's terrible. You don't feel comfortable. You get grumpy because you just, yeah. Anyway, so, so far, um, I'm feeling really confident that about this. I think I have got my mind in the right place and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. So I'm hopefully in the next few days, I'm going to, what I might do is I'm going to, because this video here, I'm going to put this on my Facebook page for anyone who would like to watch it, you can. And I am actually going to also upload it to YouTube. Um, I'm going to record a video. I might for this first week do one every day and um, go from there. So I hope that there's anyone else out there who is battling with their weight or just wants to lose, whether you want to lose five, whether you want to lose 20, whether you want to lose more. I hope that someone will, will um, watch my videos and decide to do something about it because you know life is precious and you can't waste it away and um, you know miss out on things you know too many people die young from being overweight having heart attacks having strokes so do something about it and you know I have actually had a battle in my head for the last week as to whether to actually start this today with only 10 days until Christmas or whether to wait until the 1st of January and start it then and I thought to myself oh I'll just wait and then I thought no you told yourself you were going to start this today on Monday the 15th of December was your start day that is today you start it today so that's what I'm doing okay I'll be done for now and I'll do another video tomorrow and I hope anyone else who would like to join me, I would love to have some company on this journey. I would love anyone else who would like to join in, um, feel free. And I would love to also see anybody else who would like to do a video about their journey. I would love to watch you, you change your life as well. All right, well, good luck to everybody who is planning on doing this. And whether you start today or whether you decide to wait till after Christmas, that's your own decision. I'm doing mine from today. And... Um, I'm going strong so far. All right, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.